What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now we all saw the stream from last night, the course of Oak stream. Even if you were like me and busy with other things, surely you have seen highlights of some sort. My sub box was spammed with exotic sword videos, so I know yours were too. Me personally, I chose not to post videos last night on the course of Oak stream and decided to look through it again today. And that's what I have done and in so have found a few hidden treasures. Now I know you guys like these kind of videos from me as I'm told enough about the new things I find. That's probably because I go through these videos frame by damn frame. Now with this stream, the main thing for me was in fact what sub boxes were spammed with and that is the exotic sword, also known as the Ray's Lighter, showcased on stream to us by Laced Up Lauren. Now I bet you've all seen a million videos of people talking about its perks and shit so let's skip that and talk about the interesting part. Notice its subtitle and what it states, with your own hands you forged the mighty rays lighter, now take it in hand and feed its flames. The key word here is forged. Forge or forged when associated with a sword or something metal, stating you forged it, stating you forged the mighty rays lighter, is saying you created it or recreated it, is this a clue into how this weapon is obtained, is this the weapon scattered in 50 pieces across the dreadnought, maybe so. Now the Ray's Lighter is an exotic solar sword. Does this mean we will also be getting Arc and Void exotic swords? It would only be fair, right? Now I can't really confirm that they are exotic, but we can definitely see and have seen Arc and Void swords. This screenshot here confirms this. Erk playing on Deja's account has an Arc blade and Ben seen on the right, his sword is oozing that Void energy. We also saw on the Shield Brother Strike stream last week featuring Mr. Fruit that he had a sword which looked to be Ark, although this was a legendary and not an exotic. Okay, so moving on from swords and sharp shit. The other really interesting thing was the announcement of the King's Fall raid and its release date, with a little snippet of new footage. Now the raid is released on the 18th of September, that's just three days after the Taken King, so we gotta get our grind boots on, and we have three days to do so and prepare for this raid. Now I've gone through the footage to see if I could find anything of interest and I believe I have. Now towards the start of the trailer we see guardians walking along singing a song. The guardian leading the way has that sleeper simulant in his hands looking a complete badass. The guardian towards the bottom of the screen is wielding the new exotic fusion rifle, the Telesto. First shown to us on Destiny's Instagram. Now near the back and we only get a slight glimpse but I believe it's an updated red death. But it's hard to see and get a clear view. Now moving on again, we get a better shot of the Telesto. Looking sexy, can't wait to see this bad boy in action. Now moving on, now this is interesting but I could be a million miles off. But notice this guys. Look at that launcher on the back of that Guardian on the right of the screen. As soon as I saw it, I knew that shape. That shape belongs to one weapon and one weapon only, and that is the Dragon's Breath. The exotic rocket launcher, which at the moment ain't nothing but a novelty item, which looks great, and that's about it. When zoomed in, you get a better view, and when side by side with the Dragon's Breath, there's no denying it has the exact same shape. So could this indeed be an updated year one exotic dragon's breath? Wouldn't that be fucking epic? Now moving on a couple of frames, on the left of your screen we can see that epic iron banner class item with the wolf's head for the hunter. But the interesting thing here is the weapon he is wielding. I'm pretty certain this is the updated red death. I've seen this on a few trailers here and there and it's what I believe it is. You can clearly see the blade on the front of the weapon and I know a lot of you guys will be saying the updated Red Death's icon shows it to appear dark like a black or dark grey but that does not mean it can't rock a different colour with it. I mean that blade on the front of the Red Death is proper distinct and they've been showing this weapon like I said on a few trailers so they must be hinting at something. Moving on and we have another sword, this one is an arc blade for sure. We then get a hunter coming into the shot with a void blade as you can see. We then get three guardians, all with swords, looking to chop shit up. The titans holding that raised lighter solar exotic sword. But notice the warlock on your right. He has the motherfucking antlers again. Obviously a new exotic warlock helmet, but we are yet to see a frontal view. But guys, that is it. I am all worn out. My eyes are stinging for looking so damn hard. But if I did miss anything, I'm sure you guys will let me know down below in that comment section. 
Tell me what you think about the info I have covered. Drop a like, I do appreciate the support, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.